Hey everybody, it's Multiclassic Gamer here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Kirby Superstar. After one year hiatus, it is now time, everyone, for my least favorite part of Kirby Superstar. The Great Cave Offensive. Get through the deadly cave while collecting hidden treasures. Yes, um, the difficulty's at four stars, so it's not the highest difficulty, but it's more so annoying than it's difficult. Is this your first time playing? No, it's not. Yet you're gonna tell me how to do it anyways, I know, okay? So here's the thing, okay? You're gonna be going through four different sections of this huge cave, and within those four sections are a total of 60 treasures you have to collect. This is what makes it most difficult about getting 100% in this game, and I'm actually gonna be doing that. <clears throat> so we got the first treasure here, which is the gold medal. Its value is 10,000 G. Um, I can't really remember offhand what the total amount of G you're supposed to have at the end of this is, but simply put, you need to collect all 60 treasures in this cave if you want to get 100%. This was my biggest fa- the biggest, um, the biggest flaw in my Kirby Superstar Ultra walkthrough from, uh, a couple- no, three years back, sorry. Gold coin obtained, value 1000 G. So yes. It doesn't matter what the value is, you just want to get all 60 treasures. That's all there is to it. It's not, and believe me, it's not the easiest thing in the world because, you know, you gotta deal with, uh, you know, some. You gotta deal with enemies along the way, you gotta deal with just all kinds of crap that you don't wanna deal with. Um, right here, do not hit this bomb right here. Hit this one instead and hit the first one as well. If you hit this one, it'll make a lava section go down here and then you will not be able to get to this treasure. And my voice just cracked. I believe it happened actually twice in that last minute there. Whip, value 6800G. I don't know if I should actually um, name off every single treasure here. It probably will, will just for you know commentary's sake, but that's all there is to it. Other than that, uh, my allergies have sort of been coming back, but not really all that much. But yeah, today is July 2nd, 2013. I started this Let's Play last year on July um, 6th, I do believe. Or was it 7th? All I know is that I started on the 6th last year and I finished it and it stopped playing the game on the 10th. I don't know why I did that, but yeah, it did practically the same thing I did with uh, Metroid Prime. Now, I'm not really good at this to be honest because I haven't played this game at all since I stopped playing, you know, Let's Play last year and you gotta be shitting me. <sighs> this thing is so annoying. You have to... Uh, Let's try this. Okay. Alright, there we go. You need to do that. You need to hit it with your ability. Then... No! Ugh, screw you. Come on. Come on, let's, let's do this. No! Oh, jeez. This is going to be a lot of fun. I can definitely tell you that. And this scarf, he needs to get out of here. Just go away. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're going to turn your freakish way. Whatever. Okay. Get up there. Get uh, oh, yes. Finally made it. What we got? Crystal ball. Value. 200,000 G. Seriously, I didn't, I didn't think crystal ball. Okay, I didn't think crystal stall. Crystal balls. Jeez. I didn't know they were worth that much. There we go. Alright, continuing on. Just, uh, you guys can see how why I hate this area, don't you? Yeah, it's just, it's just annoying. I would take Milky Way Wishes and pretty much any other place in that. So that, what was that, the Lucky Cat, 500G, yeah. Just, ugh, I just hate this area. You guys get the point, though. Um, I don't, is there, is there anything behind that door there? I thought it would just take you back to the area, or does it? No, it takes you to a place where you can get, okay, yeah. Okay, so what you want to do is get past that lava pit there. Don't touch any of those blocks there, whatever you do. Because you need that treasure chest to land on something. And I think you... It's going to land on that block there. Then you have to... Yeah. The treasure itself won't set the block off, but you touching it will. So the moment you land on it, press up right away. Okay, there we go. Serious sword, value 142,000 G. Jeez! This stuff is extremely valuable. Well, I know what we're gonna be doing after we finish this. Shopping time! Yes, Kirby's gonna go shopping. 
Okay. <clears throat> Alright, what we got here? Alright, we're so far we're doing just fine. A screwball. Value eight eighty thousand G. It better be worth something, considering it's in a, from a totally different franchise. Now we know that, that Nintendo was, you know, something with uh, in-game advertising. Of course, the game we've seen the most in-game advertising from from Nintendo would be Pikmin 2, obviously. No game, no other game pick from a uh, Nintendo like uh, does in-game as much in-game advertising as this as that game does. Except for this game, a Chico Candy. It's 8,000 G. Okay, is there any more treasures in these blocks up here? Just making sure. Nope, there isn't. Okay. And now, whenever you get to these doors right here that have sparkly stars over them, you know, like that. Actually, no. Okay, for some reason, the sparkle disappeared, but whatever. Whenever you go into rooms like this, this is a save point. You can save right here. So that way, if you die, I think this is where you end up back. I could be wrong, though, but I'm not totally sure on that. And there's also maximum tomatoes in there, too, if you're low on hell. So those, these rooms are very useful, simply put. Okay. Um... Yeah, I think the third area in here is the one that's the most annoying. Like, it's really, it's really hard to find your way through that area, and I don't know how I'm going to figure that out once I get to it, but I'll think of something. Um, don't go in that room up there, because we need to go back and get this treasure here. I think this would be the way to it. If I can freaking... Seriously? Can you not hit stuff that's right below you, Kirby? Alright, let's, let's, uh, let's do this. Get beam ability. No, I said get the beam ability. Thank you. Oh wait. Oh yeah, I'm going down here. Yeah, okay. Better do that now. Okay, I just said uh, I guess we're that thing right there. Okay. Uh, very well. So be it. We need to somehow get that treasure chest. Yeah, I think you have to destroy that block in order to get here. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Suck face with me and me so they. Keep I mean, well, no, not Emmy Helper. Yeah. Please suck face with me so that you can survive. Because that's the only way to survive is with, by making out with Kirby. <laughs> Apparently in this game. Zebra Mask. 278,000 G. Okay. Jeez, it's, that's all I've been doing as far as commentary goes. Is just doing that same exact thing. I think this is the end of this area right here, actually. I think. Also, at the end of each area, there is a boss. This is not the boss, this is the mid-boss. So I get to see these guys actually, like, halfway through. I don't think he has a treasure chest. Because I'm not sure if any of the enemies have treasures, but I could be wrong. I know you don't get treasure chests for fighting the bosses. I know that much. So I know something about this game. Now, um... The game will tell you in some way how you... Whether or not you've gotten all the treasures in, in each area. Because each area has a set number of treasures, believe it or not. And... Okay, I need to figure this thing out. No, it's not what I mean to do. Okay, this is where playing this game on a capture card really has issues. It's because you're you're trying to time it. But it's difficult to time things when, you're, when the game is delayed by like less than a second. There we go. Just got right there. Starstone, A2000, yes, yes, yes. All right, tonight we dine on it with Kirby's face. Okay, I don't know where I was going with that. Honestly, that's what I'm getting out of this. Is Kirby's making out with his helper just to, in order to feed him. Just like how mothers puke, some mothers of certain species puke into their baby's mouths just to feed them. I'm not gonna go any more, to any more detail about that. I just happen to know a thing, two, a thing or two about penguins that I probably should not know. Actually, anyone should know about penguins, because penguins are awesome. Beast Fang, 7300G, yes. Okay. Is each area going to take one episode? That's what it's looking like, because it's been 10 minutes and we're already... We're not... Well, we might be close to done with the first area, I'm not sure. So I think, um, I don't remember what the first area is called that we're in right now. I know the second area is called the Crystals, right? It was Crystal something. I'm not totally sure. But if you pause the game, here's this. Um, wait, what? Or was it select? Some, some button will show you. Wait. 
Yes, yes, yes. Well, how do you see... Um... Do I need to lose my ability? I know there's some way where you can see the treasures, but I can't... Okay, well, if I can't see if I have all the treasures, that's going to be a big issue. Because I don't want to go back to areas to see if I miss something or not. Okay, there's got to be some way I can see when I'm, if I have all the treasures. Because I need to know that. Uh, this is not good at all. Okay. Well, we got the car ability. That'll help us out in here. What's in here? Food! Roast beef! Yay! Aww. He messed it up by making it out with me, so I had to share it with him. How lame is that? Gee, is this how mar married couples survive? They make out with each other, and then, then that's their way of getting their daily nutrients? I don't know. I'm making stuff up, because I'm being... I don't know. Hey, you dick. You stole my ability. Bandana. 1990. That was a great year, even though I wasn't alive back then. I wasn't alive until, like, 1995, so this is, uh... Even though I happen to know a lot about the years that come before... Hey! Wh what? Okay, I did not know the... I did not know Tack could actually steal your partners. I actually did not know that. Which is something considering how much I... Wait, can I not cut these... Oh, fuck you, Tack. Oh, fuck you. Come on. I need to be able to... What? <sighs> fuck Tack. Okay, can I go back and get my cutter ability? Because I really need to. I need my cutter ability. Man, fuck Tack. There's like no way you can get your abilities back from him because you can't attack him if you don't have ability. Ugh. You know what? I'm going back. I'm going back and get the cutter ability. I don't care. Okay, there we go. Now let's try this again. Moving forth with the cut with thy cutter ability. Yeah, I don't know. Why don't we just stay on top? Won't that work for us? Yeah, I'm sure it'll work better than just trying to avoid. No, I need my cutter ability. Thank you. Alright, is Tack just gonna randomly appear from the thing? Okay, there we go. Does this lead to a treasure? Yes, it does. Alright. Springtime obtained value tw 250,000. Oh, jeez. Alright, one up. One me and up. I don't know where I was going with that. I, was just, I just sort of made some stupid pun with the one up. You've got to be shitting me. All the way back here? Game! Guys, I officially feel like a moron right now. Because, look at this. Look at the bottom left part of this screen right here. When I was pausing, you know, and pressing all the buttons and going, Hey, I wonder how do I, how do I access the thing? Little did I realize, the answer was right in front of my face. Push X to see treasures found during the game. So if you unpause it, press X, right there. There it is. See, I knew this screen was somewhere, but I never thought I was so stupid that I couldn't just think to look at the bomb left corner of the screen when pausing it, and there it is. So there you have it. Proof that there's 60 treasures in this game. And so far we got 13 of them. I don't know if that's every treasure. See what this game doesn't do that Kirby Superstar Ultra does. Is it doesn't does not show you. Um, if you have all the treasures in a certain area. The only way you can tell. Is if you get the first treasure in one area. And there's no treasures before it that you missed. So, in that regard, that's one of the reasons why this version is a bit more difficult than, than Kirby Superstar Ultra, which is the DS version of this game. <clears throat> so with that, um, let's continue on. Also, even though it seemed like I had to go back and get all the treasures again, it didn't. 
for some reason, the game saves right after you get a treasure, but yet they still give you those save areas. I don't get why they do that, because the game already saves after you get every treasure. It just makes you go back to, to that room if you die, but you still got all the treasures. And that's what doesn't make any sense to me, is that how, why would they just make it, why would those, what, what's the point of putting those areas there? Why can't you just start over in the same room you just were when you die? That doesn't make any sense. If you, if they're if they can save you getting all the treasures, that's what doesn't make any sense to me. So I'm gonna assume right now that I have every treasure in the first area of the game, and we'll find out on ourselves if I was right or not on that. And actually, I'm gonna use mirror on this first boss. So here we go. Everybody, meet Fatty Whale. Yes, that's literally what it's called. At least in the well, the game calls him that in the... Wait, what? Okay, well, apparently, uh... Sometimes some of the graphics doesn't, doesn't appear all the way on the... D, at least on the Super Nintendo version. Like it's supposed to. Like, there was supposed to be a wave there. When I went up, randomly like that. And there's also be, it's supposed to be a wave right there. Notice how I just randomly went upwards? Yeah, there was supposed to be a wave caused by Fatty Whale doing those motions in the uh, water, so yeah. That's one of the weird things about it. You're not actually damaged by the waves itself, but you will be damaged by the debris that comes up and Fatty Whale himself by simply touching him. I always thought this boss was kind of weird how he's like 2D like that, but what do you expect? It's Super Nintendo. You know, 3D was, 3D was, you know, it was kind of around, you know, sort of there. But it was kind of in its awkward, you know, adolescent stage, I should say. Well, same goes for Nintendo 64. That's when it was officially 3D, but... Oh, well. I believe Star Fox is actually the first official 3D Nintendo game, if I'm not mistaken, right? That's, that's my guess. I mean, I'm talking about the Super Nintendo Star Fox, the, the very first game of the franchise. <clears throat> okay, so officially we're going to be doing one area per episode, which seems seems fine to me. That means we'll be done with Great Cave Offensive after the first week of, you know, having this game back. Since we're going to be updating this LP on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays long time Met alongside Metroid Prime, so this is going to be updated at 8 o'clock p.m. every night while Metroid Prime is updated on 12 o'clock, and, and this LP is also going to be updated on Sundays at regular time at 12 o'clock. That's how this LP is going to work. This this was my idea, basically, of you know bringing it back with uh, alongside the two L main LPs I'm already doing because I wanted to go back and redo my 16-bit summer let's plays from last year, and uh, so let's uh, dang, well, let's just take these on my cards because at the end of every stage in here, you will after you fight the boss. Of each stage, you're gonna come to a minecart stage, a mini minecart stage, where you can ride a minecart, and it will take you to the next area of the Great Cave Offensive. So we just complete the first area, and I still have yet to find out if we got all the treasures in the first area. But like I said, the the main area where getting all the treasures is very annoying is the uh, third area. So we'll be going there a couple of episodes from now. But for now, I am Multiclass Gamer signing out. I will see you guys next time where we will take on the crystal area and find out if we got every treasure in the first area or not. See you guys then. Thank you for watching. Bye.